Yeah, yeah, thank, thanks, thanks for invitation. So today I want to report the recent work about uh, case stability and key moduli. So the title is, or closing, for case stability with uh, multiple boundary. So three out, we work over complex number field. Okay, so, so it's well known that by MMP theory, algebra varieties could be divided into three building blocks. It is general type, Calabi Yao, and Fano. So here, general type just means the canonic divisor is ample, and Calabi Yao means which flat of canonic divider is uh, numerical trivial. And final just means uh, canonic divider is anti amp Then to classify algebra varieties, it serves us to classify these three building blocks. Then we want to construct more just basis for this sort of varieties. For example, a general type, we already have a good modular theory called KSB modular theory, which parameterizes general type of variety with uh, mild singularity and uh, fixed environments like uh, dimension and volume. And actually, this theory is already complete due to the Lynn Manford, Janusz Kola, Hickey and many other people long list of names. Okay, and uh, for Calabi Yao, for Calabi Yao, actually there are various approaches to construct moduli, depending on which kind of Calabi Yao we treat. For example, we could apply a uh, Hodge theory to construct uh, K, not K, <laughs> construct modular space for K3, and uh, we could apply GIT theory to construct a uh, moduli for for half, for Calabio hypersurface, like degree n plus one hypersurface in P n, and uh, we could apply also apply k stability k moduli theory to construct moduli for log log Calabio pair where X is a final variety, and uh, this pair is log Calabi Yao, okay. And recently, Birka also uh, construct a moduli for stable minimal model, which can apply to construct moduli for Calabi Yao. So essentially, it does not go beyond uh, KSB modular theory. Okay, that's roughly about uh, Calabi Yao. And for final variety, so in the past few years, there has been a rapid progress on the construction of moduli. And it turns out that case stability is a suitable concept to construct. Uh, no, the moduli is known as uh, key moduli and uh, developed by Xu and uh, many other people, long list of names. <laughs> Okay, today we will focus on final variety and uh, the k module space. Okay, then we start with k stability and the k modular. So let me first set the notation. So we see a log pair is final, a log final, if uh, we have a singularity condition and the uh, positivity condition. Okay, this is what we call final. Then we give the definition of uh, case stability. Cheetah and uh, Chile. For a log final, it is case semi-stable, defined as uh, if and only if the beta invariant 
is not negative for any prime divider e over x. We need to explain the notation here. Okay, so first, a prime divider e over x means uh, e is a prime divider on a birational model. For example, we have a birational model mu such that e is divided on y. Okay, and the beta is defined as uh, a minus s here. A is a log discrepancy. Mu. Okay, this is mu. And the S is invariant, which are also which is also called average in vanishing order. We defined as. Uh, if we assume the dimension is D, okay, this is uh, volume. Okay, so this is our definition of case stability. Actually, this is not the original definition. So originally, case stability is defined by a test configuration. And the later Gita Lee find this uh, valuative criteria for case stability. So the advantage of this definition is uh, it's defined by some uh, very basic invariants in birational geometries, like uh, log discrepancy. And the S invariant is an invariant uh, related to volume of line bundles. So one could expect that many powerful tools in birational geometry, especially from minimal, minimal model program, could apply here to study case stability. Okay, so this is our definition of uh, case stability. I also give a remark here because beta is defined as difference. So we also have an uh, environment called delta, defined as uh, infimum of A over S where e runs through all prime divider over x. Then we see x delta is case semi-stable, depend only if delta is greater or equal than one. Then we see delta is a case stability threshold. Okay, so this is uh, the basic environment of uh, of uh, case stability for funnel, then we have uh, this key moduli theorem by Xu. So it says fix V, V, and I, where D is dimension, V is a volume, and I is a funny set of non-negative uh, rational number. Then there exists an adding stack of funny type, which denoted by D, V, I. K, parameterizing satisfying the following conditions. So the dimension is D, and uh, delta is belong to I. Delta belong to I, I mean, the coefficients of delta is contained in this uh, final set. Okay, 
and uh, we also fix the volume. It's V and uh, X that is case sensitive. We have all these invariants uh, fixed uh, that. Okay, we have uh, this uh, added stack parameterized uh, case time stable of fun. And moreover, so this module stack descends to a good module space. That means uh, we have a descending map. To a good module space, which is a projective scale. So this is analog of uh, uh, GRT GRT stack to descend into GRT space. So where this uh, module space parameterized uh, parameterized closed orbit across parameterized uh, polystable objects. Okay, so this is uh, the big k-modular theory. So I should give a remark here. So to construct this uh, k-moduli, there are several ingredients to establish. So for example, at first, we should define the k modulus k modular functor, a suitable k modular functor, to see which kind of family we parameterize. And uh, once this functor is uh, defined, we should confirm uh, the various moduli property. For example, for example, bound, whether this functor is bounded, boundedness, whether we have uh, separateness or properness, and whether we have uh, projectivity. And luckily, in the past few years, all of these properties are confirmed. So I should only mention one of them, like uh, boundedness, proved by, proved by Chen Jiang. So the result stated as follows. If we consider set final of dimension D and uh, fixed volume and also fixed delta invariant has a positive lower bound, then this set is bounded. Here, bounded just means uh, there exists a family of uh, LGB varieties over a finite type space such that for any x in this set, it appears as a fiber of uh, this family F. Okay, this is what I mean, boundedness. Okay, so this is a, a brief introduction of uh, k-stability and k-moduli. Then we turn to the wall crossing phenomena for k moduli. Now, the set we study is a little special. We want to study log pairs of the form x is final of dimension d, and the d is q linear equivalent to minus kx. And uh, the coefficients of d is controlled in a finite set of non-negative rational numbers. And we also fix the volume. 
And we also pose some uh, stability condition like X C D is k semi stable for some uh, for some number C. Okay, then an observation is that the pair X C D if uh, it has a good singularity, then it is log final for C smaller than one. Then the observation is uh, the K stability or K semi stability may change as we change the coefficient C. For example, if we consider P2, comma a uh, conic curve so you may see conic curve is not uh, is not uh, curlinear equivalent to curlinear equivalent to minus kx but you could uh, what is this you could uh, add a uh, add a scale like uh, 3 over 2 okay so we just uh, remove this scale and write it as C. Is k semi stable? This is a smooth conic. But the k unstable or not k semi stable. For C exceeding three over four, and more generally, for P n comma with a general final hypersurface. General hypersurface means uh, D is uh, D is uh, smaller than n plus one. Then it is uh, k semi stable. Or C belong to and the not case semi stable for this domain. And we also give another example. So if uh, X itself is k semi stable final, and uh, the pair XD is log canonical, then is k semi stable for all for all suitable C. Okay, so for these examples, we see so all the case semi-stable domain is an interval. Why it's interval? That's why we assume uh, the boundary is proportional to minus kx. That means we are working in a linear setting. So for this linear setting, for this linear setting, we have uh, a good computation of a beta environment. It is uh, a minus s. So you see, beta invariant is linear on this coefficient c. So if we have uh, case stability for two extremal points, then the middle points also satisfy case stability condition. So that's why these case admissible domain are all interval. This is uh, also called uh, uh, interpolation property. If uh, x c1 d, x c2 d 
are both k semi stable, then XCD is k semi stable for for the whole integral. Okay, so we could also give a def give a concept of k semi stable domain definition of XD to be C belong to such that XCD is k semi stable in the case of equation. So because we only have uh, one boundary and by this convex property, the k-semi-stable domain is automatically a polytop, one-dimensional polytop, top interval. And uh, we have the following wall crossing for k-stability result. So originally proved by uh, Asher, the Fleming, and the Liu for smoothable case and by myself for general case. That means uh, if I if I denote this set as F, okay, then so remember, remember the set F is uh, is determined by some invariants, some that like dimension, volume, and coefficient can metrize an xd okay so so fixed f with uh, this invariance there exists finitely many rational numbers are denoted by c v equal to to CK plus one, such that, so the point is we only have finite and uh, they are rational numbers, such that for any local IBL pair taken from uh, the set F, the KSM stable domain of XD is CI, CJ for some For some ij, that means uh, all k semi-stable domains of log pairs in a set F is determined by these finitely many rational numbers. Okay, that means we have, uh, in other words, we have a finite chamber length division. for this one dimensional uh, simplex. This is a CD, this is a C1, this is a CK, CK plus one. That means uh, when your coefficient C varies in a chamber like uh, C1, C2, the case stability of the pair does not change. Okay, that's uh, what crossing for case stability with uh, one boundary. So the idea of uh, of this theorem, so because the convex property, uh, the k semi stable domain is automatically a polytop. So the key idea is only to prove this funniness. And the point for funniness is to prove the boundaries of F of this set, remember, recall this set, parameterize uh, all log pairs XD of uh, the following form. X is final of dimension D, and we have the, the boundary linear equivalent to minus KX. We fix the volume, and we have some uh, stability, case stability condition. So to prove the boundaries of F, 
the key idea is a one gap property. For k stability, that means uh, we have uh, a positive number epsilon depend only on the given that dimension, volume, and the coefficient, such that for any x b belong to the set x c d is k sum stable. For some for some C having this property. That means uh, we could choose C admitting a gap from one. So this is a little technical. So we just ground this to say why we have boundedness under by this one gap property. So if we have this one gap, we will see X C D is K semi stable implies delta environment greater than one. And this implies Actually, this is uh, AX E minus uh, C order ED over. So this implies AX E over greater than one and implies. This means uh, the delta invariant has a positive load down. Then by the boundary theorem we mentioned before, this result. If we could bound delta invariant, and the fixed volume and dimension, then this kind of final reality is bounded. Okay, thus we have boundedness. So this is a wall, wall crossing for one boundary case. Then it's natural to ask how about the uh, how about the multiple boundary case? So that's our topic today, so multiple boundary. So to study multiple boundary case, we first confirm which set we study. In a one boundary case, we study F, and for this case, we denote it by E. We have multiple boundary, we have K boundary. And we still fix some uh, that like x is final of dimension d, and we fix the volume. And uh, these boundaries are all Killing equivalent to minus kx, and we could control the coefficient of dj belong to a finite set of uh, rash non-negative rational numbers. And we also add k stability condition. Dj is uh, k semi stable for some number k semi stable log final. For some numbers. Uh, CJ. This is a set we should focus on. Then we are curious about whether there is a wall crossing theory for case stability. 
with multiple boundary like this. So we should remark that the sum of CJ should smaller than one because we should keep the pair to be log final. Then we should, so like if we have two boundaries, D1 and D2, we should uh, focus on this domain. Each point correspond to a vector like C1, C2, denoted by C. That one keep, what? Well, so the key problem is to confirm which vector C has a case stability condition. And fortunately, we still have uh, this work problem. So notation as above. So before that, we first uh, define case sensitive domain for multiple boundary. To be the vector such that x, cj, dj is case unmistakable. Take the closure. And we this means we collect all the case unmistakable vectors. And we have uh, for any xd, sorry. Taken from the set E, the case unmistakable domain is a rational polytop. And the second, if we collect all the semi stable domain. We collect all the polytopes together. This is a finite set of polytopes. Okay, you see, this is a generalization of one boundary case because uh, in one boundary case, the case semi stable domain can only be of the form uh, like a CI. CJ, this is CR, CJ. And there are only finite many such uh, polytops. And in one boundary case, the case M stable domain is automatically a polytop. So the idea of this result is uh, in multiple boundary case, we still have interpolation property for case stability because we are working in the linear setting because all the boundaries are proportional to minus kx. So we still have convexity property. But convexity does not mean being polytop. So that's one difficult point. So I want to present some idea of this result. So one is polytop, one is uh, finance. Okay, so finance is uh, easier. So for finance, the key idea is similar. So one of the key idea is to prove boundaries of the set E. It's still a one gap property for case stability. 
So for example, in two boundary case, we consider these two dimensional uh, simplex. So for any xd taken from uh, E, so by definition, there exists a vector to make this pair k semi-stable. But the problem is this vector could get arbitrarily close to its boundary. That means uh, the sum of CJ could get arbitrarily close to one. So one gap just means uh, we should control this vector to this domain. And uh, this control indeed exists. That means uh, exist a positive number depending on on this information such that is k semi stable with the sum is restricted. Okay, so ground for this, we say how to prove boundaries of, uh, of E. So because we have uh, case stability for, for this pair, by definition, delta is greater than one. Then we have uh, A over X minus something, minus some order. greater than one. This means uh, AX over E, sorry, AX over S Then we have a lower bound for delta environment of x. Then by the boundaries result we mentioned before, this x, this kind of x is bounded. And by a standard argument on true scheme, the boundary dj can also be bounded. That's the chief boundaries of uh, E. Slug bound. So once we have boundaries, we could achieve this uh, finalness of polygon. Then we turn to the idea of how to prove polytop. We still assume there is only two boundary. Okay, for two boundary case, taken any x dj belong to E. Then we compute the beta as follows. I just write it as uh, x1 d1 plus x2 d2.
So beta is of the following form. It's a linear on, on x1 and x2. Then you say for each prime divided e over x, I have a hyper plan of this form. Okay, and by beta criteria, the k semi stable domain dj2 should be the intersection of all these hyperplans. Half space, I mean, e over x. This is the beta d criteria. The problem is this intersection is an infinite intersection. So to get polytope, we need it to be a fun intersection. Okay, and the problem is. Uh, uh, the point is uh, characterization of polytope. So because the case semi k semi domain at least it's a uh, it's a uh, convex. So for example, it's like this. And we choose a uh, extremal point. Okay, denoted by W. So to prove it's a polytope, at least we should prove it's locally a polytope at every extremal point, right? Locally at uh, this vector. So locally just means, uh, so at w, at w it's like this. May at other place, maybe it's not polytope, but uh, just uh, focus on W, it's like a polytope. This is uh, what I mean by locally a polytope. Okay, so suppose this case I missed with the man is not locally polytope, at this vector, then you will see we could choose uh, a sequence like W i, W j, a sequence W i, such that W i tending to the point we choose and uh, the segment the segment I just denoted by this separates case I missed the domain. Separates are just means uh, both two sides of this hyperplane we have uh, some parts of this case and the domain. Okay, so for example, for example, this is not separate. Uh, this is not separate. This is separate. Okay. I'm giving a talk. Sorry. Okay, so for I for I sufficiently large. And the key idea here is uh, so for sufficiently large I W I and W lies lie on the same Hyperplan 
determined by theta. So that means uh, we could find some, uh, or in other words, there exists some prime divider EI over X such that theta X W equals theta. equals zero. Okay, that means uh, this W and WI both lies on on this half uh, space. Then the segment cannot separate the QCM super domain by by this criteria, then this is a contradiction. Then we have proved the uh, uh, present data idea of uh, a polytop, at least uh, locally being a polytop. And uh, for the case I'm stupid, the man being a polytop, one just uh, need to show, show all the extremal points from a set, and uh, this set does not, is discrete. And that means uh, we only have uh, funny many extremal points. And at each extremal point, it's uh, like a polytop. So the case I'm stupid is a polytop. So that's roughly the idea of uh, this wall crossing result for multiple boundaries. And as a corollary, so we see also fix K means we have K boundary and dimension and volume and the coefficient i, there exists a finite chamber degradation. Of, uh, of uh, the syntax in two dimensional case is like this. Where PI are rational polytops and uh, like this. So it's too small. Like this is PI, this is PJ, and uh, their interior points uh, intersect nothing. And uh, X case some stability of this pair does not change. If we change the vector in one chamber, in any chamber, the case of the big three does not change. Okay, so this is a final chamber definition. And based on this, we have uh, uh, or crossing for K moduli. So I only present one boundary case for this wall crossing. So because in boundary case, 
we have a finite chamber back division for this one dimensional simplex. We have C1, C2, CI. And uh, this module stack, D, V, I, C, parameterize uh, log final pairs of the form uh, CD, where X, D belong to F. Okay, and uh, our result tells that when C very belong to interval like uh, C1, C2, and this module stack does not change. And we have a wall closing like this. CI minus option. and design to a morphism, design to a modular space. Oh, sorry. And this pairs of morphism behaves like a uh, leap. Okay, so this is uh, all crossing for P modula. So I guess uh, I have presented all I want to say. So I just stop here and 